Hey guys, what's up? It's Monk the Zonkey. So, I'm still trading Divination. Uh, right now, it's kind of in the middle of my weekend. I had a couple days off. This is the second of those two days off. And so, I put the time in towards uh, doing some Divination. So, I got all the way from 70 to 74, and I'll get 75 in about an hour or so. So, that's really helped a lot. And I had a couple things I really wanted to talk about in this video, some things I was curious about. Um, and kind of just deciding what I want to do with this channel in the near future because I am undecided. But anyway, before we talk about that, I guess I'll just go a little bit over what I'm doing. Um, luckily, since I haven't had work the last two days, I have obviously been able to put in towards some divination. And I found that um, I have been super AFK while trading divination. Um, I'll show you exactly why I've been AFK in just a second. But, um, so I've been getting around only about 30k XP an hour or so, and so it's been really, really slow to train, but, um, I've heard you can get up to 40k XP an hour if you're really paying attention, but I'm not going to be doing that. Um, so I have just been kind of running this in the background as best as I can, because with my old computer, of course, it is very, very laggy to run more than one program at once. So the reason why I've been AFK is kind of this. I have been playing a bit of Zelda... Ocarina of Time, um, which is a very fun game. I played it a little bit during my childhood, and I found out how to play it on PC, so that's what I've been doing a little bit in the background while playing RS, as well as just watching YouTube and all, as always. But if you played Zelda Ocarina of Time during your childhood, then not only did you have a great childhood, but you also remembered like how difficult that game was when you were a kid. And also, since I don't have like a 360 control or a Nintendo 64 controller, not a 360 controller, I do have that. To plug in, I'm having to play with a mouse and keyboard, and so the controls are terrible at best, and so it's just, it makes the game even more hard than it already is, because of course, games 10, 15 years ago were, were much more difficult then than they are now. But anyway, what I really wanted to talk about in this video is uh, the, the near future of my channel, because at the moment, um, I've had a lot of complaints that my mic volume is too quiet and the quality of my videos isn't very good and please remove the black boxes on the sides of the videos I know all about that I'm just gonna address those really quickly in this video first of all my mic volume just is quiet there's nothing I can do about it I have all the mic volume settings at absolute maximum I'm talking fairly loud right now so there's not really a whole lot I can do, that's just the way my computer's volume settings work. It's going to be quiet. I don't know why it has to be quiet, but it is. Um, I have bought a new mic, and I've used it in the past a few times, but the new mic is much more staticky than this one, and it also did not fix the problem of the mic volume being low. So I think it has something to do with the computer itself. I'm not sure because I, for one, I know a little bit about computers, but mics is not something I know anything about. Um, so anyway, that's just the way my computer is. And also, the video quality is low because I have to record in a low resolution and I have to render in a low resolution because if I record or render in anything higher, it absolutely kills my computer and my computer can't handle it. Um, I can't record in a larger screen size than the one I'm recording in right now, or otherwise uh, my computer will start vomiting up blood and die basically um, it will be way too laggy to even put out a video without embarrassment because of like how laggy the video is and also I can't render in any um, better render settings than this one because it already takes uh, a lot out of the PC to render and I've tried rendering in higher settings and it just makes the uh, the software that I use crash because it's too much for my computer to handle so that's not going to work out and also I can't remove the black boxes on the sides of the video because it will make the video look stretched and even more terrible than it already looks just in the settings that I'm used right now. So I guess what all this concludes to is I wanted to ask you guys how you felt about me continuing to make videos given these circumstances. The mic volume will be low, the uh, video quality will not be the best depending on what I'm recording it very well might be laggy from time to time however I can't afford a new computer yet um, I do indeed have a full-time job and I'm getting paid decently considering I'm working a lot of hours however um, there are some obligations that I have to pay for first such as um, my I pay for food and clothes and um, car repairs my car needs a new alternator it needs a new battery, it needs a new windshield, um, 
it also needs my car needs the transmission mission serviced and it also needs new tire new tires so all of that is going to take a bit of money um that's pretty much i can afford all those things right now but i'll be completely wiped clean after that and after the car is fully repaired um i also owe a thousand dollars on the car to get it fully paid off because i did borrow money from a relative to help pay for the car because i couldn't afford the whole thing on a down payment so um those things need to come first and after that's paid off which is probably going to be in a month or so um, then I can finally buy a new PC. However, that's probably not going to happen. I don't think a new PC is going to come for about a month to a month and a half, um, just depending on how how much everything costs and how many hours I'm working um, and how much I'm getting paid, all that. So my question for you guys is, would you like me to continue making videos, given that they're not going to look or sound that great? Or would you like me to take a break from video making for the next month and a half until I get a new computer and then just make much more high quality videos then? I would never want to quit video making, but it seems like the vast majority of the comments on the um, the videos I have uploaded lately have all just been basically telling me how terrible the video looks and sounds, and I haven't really seen a whole lot of positive feedback lately, so that's just why I'm wondering. Um, if you guys, if it really bothers you guys this much to watch a video that's low quality and you would rather not see any video at all, um, if it has to be not the greatest looking or sounding. So anyway, that's about all for this um, this video. Uh, hopefully, you guys don't want me to quit video making for the next month because I would rather not. However, uh, if making videos that don't look very good isn't worth it, uh, I'll definitely consider taking a break. Um, if that's what the community wants. But anyway, that's about all for this video. I'm going to get back to playing some Zelda and AFKing it up at Divination, and I hope you all enjoy yourselves and join my friend's chat in-game, which is just Monkazonki. That's about all, and farewell.